Hello everybody, this is Code and Solder, and today we'll learn how to reset a Mills counter on an Arduino. This seems to be a very popular problem with many different answers. First of all, let's see what's inside the Mills function. As you can see, it consists of four parts saving the status register, disabling interrupts, reading the current millisecond value, and restoring the status register. Now that we know that, we can modify this function to write instead of reading. We are using the extern keyword to indicate that the variable is already defined in another source file. After writing some example code, we can see that this function performs as intended. This approach has two problems though. Firstly, it can break libraries that use millis, and secondly, it allows tracking of only one value at a time. To solve this problem, we will create a structure that holds the offset between the real millis and the desired value and subtracts it on a function call. My implementation has three functions, one to reset it, one to set it, and one to read the current value. After modifying the example to use this function, we can see that it performs exactly the same as resetting the real Millis counter, but at the same time allows more instances and doesn't break any libraries. Fortunately, we don't have to write all of this by ourselves, because the library Elapsed Millis, available on the Arduino Playground, already contains all those features. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments what video would you like to see next.